In this presentation, we will introduce cholesterol, its structure and function, and look at its regulation in the body and its role in disease. So what exactly is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a special type of lipid, or fat, found in the human body. You can also find it in large amounts in nuts, oatmeal, and fish. It's an essential component for many processes in the cell, including hormone production and cell membrane fluidity. The structure of cholesterol is made up of four rings. At one end of the structure, there's a hydrocarbon tail that's hydrophobic, or water-fearing, and at the other end, there's a hydroxyl group that's hydrophilic, or water-loving. In terms of its function, cholesterol has many important roles in the body, but there are two main ones. The first main function of cholesterol is to maintain cell membrane fluidity. This means that including cholesterol into the cell membrane allows the cell to have a higher permeability, or in other words, to allow for more molecules to pass through. In addition, cholesterol serves as a main element in the production of many essential chemicals in the body, such as hormones and vitamin D. So where do we get the cholesterol our body needs? There are two sources of cholesterol. The body produces about 75% of the cholesterol it needs, and the remaining 25% we get from our diet. Similar to a thermostat, the body monitors and ensures that cholesterol levels in the blood are balanced at all times. For example, if cholesterol levels are high in someone's diet, the body responds by slowing down cholesterol production. On the other hand, if the diet doesn't have enough cholesterol, the body compensates by increasing cholesterol production. Almost all cells of the body are able to produce the cholesterol that they need, but the majority of the cholesterol is produced by liver cells. It is then packaged and exported to cells throughout the body. First, it's important to understand that cholesterol is a hydrophobic molecule. Hydro means water and phobic means fearing, which together mean that cholesterol does not mix well with substances that contain water. You probably tried pouring oil on top of a glass of water and seen this in action. The oil separates from the water given enough time and refuses to mix. Since your blood is mostly water, transporting cholesterol through your veins and arteries would not work unless it were packaged inside a hydrophilic or water-loving transport system. This transport system is known as the lipoprotein, which is formed when proteins surround the lipid molecules, hence the name lipoprotein. This lipoprotein molecule is basically a sphere, with the hydrophobic lipid molecules on the inside and the hydrophilic protein molecules on the outside, allowing it to exist in and pass easily through the bloodstream. The inner hydrophobic lipid molecules consist of cholesterol and triglycerides, which is another type of lipid molecule used to store excess energy from your diet. The most well-known lipoproteins are LDL, or low-density lipoproteins, also known as the bad cholesterol, and HDL, or high-density lipoproteins, also known as the good cholesterol. Now let's meet these lipoproteins. Hello, I'm a high-density lipoprotein, or HDL. And I'm low-density lipoprotein, or LDL. You know, we basically do the same thing. Like carrying fats through the bloodstream? But we're still pretty different. You should see the way this guy carries cholesterol to the tissues. It's impressive. <laughs> oh shucks. Yeah, and he knows I'm probably better in combating bad health outcomes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What exactly do you mean by better? Well, I just mean that I take the body's excess cholesterol and LDL from tissues and return it back to the liver. You know, the cholesterol that you brought there in the first place. What are you implying here? Well, you're a bad form of cholesterol and you can build up on the sides of the arteries. It's called atherosclerosis. Over time, you can clog up arteries and put people at greater risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Oh, that kind of better. Yeah, you can think of yourself like a garden hose. Are you calling me a tool? No, never. Think about it this way. If you put your thumb over the mouth of the hose, you reduce the area that the water can flow out of, and the water will move with greater pressure. And what does that have to do with me? Well, when you clog up the arteries, you reduce the area that the blood can flow through, making the blood move with greater pressure. This is called hypertension, which just means high blood pressure. High blood pressure means higher risk of heart attack and stroke. Oh, I see. That's awkward. 
Yeah, kinda. But don't worry, I take the extra cholesterol our body doesn't need back to the liver to get broken down. So this reduces atherosclerosis and lowers the risk of heart disease. Well, I guess we owe you one, bro. All in a day's work, my friend. So to summarize, cholesterol is a form of lipid that's needed to maintain membrane fluidity and the production of hormones and vitamin D. Cholesterol is primarily produced by our liver and some of it is obtained through our diet. Cholesterol is a hydrophobic molecule and needs a lipoprotein to be transported in the blood. And finally, LDL is a bad form of cholesterol that can lead to heart disease.